Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how .NET 7 greatly improves upon Regex performance on the previous .NET versions. Now keep in mind everything you see right now in this video is still in preview and they can improve even further but because some of the things here are pretty much set in stone at least the approach we're gonna take a look at how the .NET team managed to achieve that boost. If you like a lot of content and you want to see more make sure you subscribe ring the notification bell and for more training, check out nickchapsas.com. So a while back, I made a regex video actually showing you how you should properly do regex in .NET. And I'm going to put that on the top right corner of your screen because it is a very good video if you want to just get all the misconceptions and all the basic mistakes out of the way. Now, let's see where performance stands in .NET 6 currently. So the project I have here, uh, if I go in the CS Proj, you can see is a .NET 6 project and it has benchmark.net as a NuGet package. And the only thing I'm doing is I'm running some benchmarks. Now let's take a look at what the benchmarks look like. So I have the email regex uh, partner here. And yes, this is the actual RFC regex. It, it's, it's big for email, but it is what it is. And then what I'm doing here is I'm creating a, a regex object with that pattern over here. Um, and I'm marking it as read only. So it's going to get cached within that class and only initialized once. And then I'm also using the compiled flag, which, if you know, this will greatly optimize this piece of regex for your application. And then I'm using two parameters, an actual email and something that is not an email. In fact, let's make it a bit more complicated. And then I'm running two benchmarks per each value. One of them is matching the non-compiled version of regex, and the other one is matching the compiled version of regex. So this is marked as release. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And then once the benchmarks are completed, we're going to see how they compare to each other. So results are back. And as you can see, this is where the performance stands. The non-compiled versions are significantly less efficient than the compiled versions in both cases. And actually, the one that doesn't match, in this case, the nickchapsas.com version, is significantly slower than the one that does match. That's a general observation. Regex matches tend to be faster when they actually match something because it's effectively an early exit mechanism, while the ones that don't match have to exhaust all the possible patterns. So this is where we are. And I'm actually going to just save this so we can compare with .NET 7. So now I have installed uh, .NET 7 in my PC and I will go ahead and I'm going to update this project to .NET 7. Uh, and I could just run the benchmarks if I wanted to, but I want to do that. I'm actually going to introduce the new thing added in .NET 7 all about regex. And that is actually a source generator. So now you can actually source generate all the code for your regex matches beforehand. And that is giving you significantly faster startup times. You don't have to worry about this being compiled and then having to be optimized again during runtime, which can cause delays and all that. Keep in mind, what we saw here is a very isolated version of just the actual matching. But it's not just the matching that is part of your system. It's the actual regex creation as well. So let's go ahead and add the new source generated regex version. It's going to be a private partial and it's partial because the source generator will actually write this for us regex new email regex uh, and that's going to be a method now because the source generator has to come in and actually implement that method for us and it's going to just look like this it's going to be regex generator here and then the actual regex and that's it and now i'm going to save and as you see the squiggly line went away that's because the source generator came in and it implemented this method we are going to take a look at that method implementation in a bit now just because someone might be wondering well you're going to call a method in the benchmark but all the other tests are actually using a field how is that fair well you'll see that it actually doesn't matter but just to prove it to you i'm going to go ahead and mark this as a private read only regex new email regex and that's going to be the field and i'm going to initialize it in the constructor so i'm basically going to cache it by calling that method here and that's it and we're going to have benchmarks for all of them let's go ahead and add them so the two benchmarks are in here are our methods one calling the source generated method over here and the other one is calling the field that is being initialized by the source generator so let's go ahead and run this benchmark now and see uh, how it goes as you can see it's using dotnet 7 it is not using dotnet 6 everything is running on dotnet 7 preview 2. so results are back and let's see what we have here so as you can see this is what really surprised me. The old compiled version is actually a bit more efficient 
than the new source generated ones. This is slightly visible in the version where it actually matches the thing and a bit more visible, but we're talking nanoseconds. So really it's just a tiny, tiny bit. But the reason why I included this is just to show you that source generators don't always mean that you're always going to get the best runtime performance, especially compared to something that has been optimized for years. Now, if I pull in here the old results, that's the .NET 6, yes, I'm using paint, don't judge me, you will actually see that both this, this, and this version is slower than the new version of .NET 6. This is the only one that's performing better, but I think at this point, this is just a run-to-run -run, uh, variance just because of how close it is to the other result over here. But this was never the actual intent. This just happened because .NET 7, with all the optimizations, leads to faster ResEC performance. Here's where source generation truly shines. Let me show you. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new benchmark file, and this is going to be called regex startup benchmarks and we're going to test what the initialization performance looks like with the old and the new version not everyone is optimizing properly their regex and they're caching it correctly so let's see what performance would look like even when you get it wrong and also let's just see what source generators can do for regex so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna turn this into a memory diagnoser and add a couple of benchmarks here so the benchmarks look practically the same the only difference is instead of having all those pre cached properties i now have the initialization of the regex in those methods and i have the raw old one the compiled one and then the source generated one all within each method execution, which is the worst case scenario, really. So let's go ahead and run this benchmark. I'm going to go and change this to point to the new version and see what that looks like in .NET 7. So results are back and let's see what we have here. So as you can see, this is insane. So this is 16 milliseconds for both the compiled versions, which is to be expected because the compiled flag actually causes the thing to do a lot of stuff behind the scenes to optimize subsequent executions. So it is expected to perform the worst. Now the non-compiled one performs at 16 and 20 microseconds respectively with plenty of memory allocation, 23 kilobytes. But here's the insane thing. The new source generated methods are significantly more efficient to the point where this is 157 times approximately faster than the original version and it allocates no memory. There are zero memory allocations in both cases. This is insane because it just means you can just use this regex method everywhere and not worry about having to put it in a field and cache it and whatever. Just call that. The source generator will do all the heavy lifting for you and you can just call that method and call it a day it is so so interesting and so so efficient and startup times if you're heavily using regex will significantly improve which can be important for many services especially bigger ones now let's take a quick peek at what the source generator actually does behind the scenes so if i go into this method definition it will actually take me to the code generated for that source generator and we call that new email regex generator so i'm gonna find it in here and this is the actual code that the source generator will write uh, it generates this generated regex uh, method and it's effectively a singleton here so it's going to actually cache that single instance which is why it is so efficient and you don't actually have to cache it yourself it caches it internally and then just returns the same value through the method it's very very smart stuff i mean it's the dotnet team so what did i expect but as you can see the pattern is effectively cached all the information is here for that regex and then there's a description generated for it which is pretty insane i've never actually seen this before and it goes and goes and goes and then all the very optimized like low level stuff for using uh, read only spans and slicing and it's like it goes over my head i'm just not that smart to understand everything here but it is very nice to see how source generators are keep getting used and i really hope to see the day where they actually used in dependency injection as well because if we manage to do that that's going to be insane and yes i know there are packages that do source generated dependency injection i want to see the actual native container support that well that's all i had for you for this video thank you very much for watching special thanks to my patreons for making videos possible if you want to support me as well you're going to find a link in the description down below Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.